Mike's in the kitchen cooking red fish, Cubion frog legs in the fryer. Swordfish backstrap the breast, oh yeah, throw it all on the fire. Out in the sportsman's paradise, Louisiana. Welcome to this week's edition of Chefs of Rod and Reel. Today we're going to make a Thai dish, and I'm going to try to pronounce it as Hor Mok, H-O-R, I think it's M-O-C, but we'll put it on the screen later on. I don't really know how to say it. And basically what it is, is we're going to take, we're going to make some cups out of banana leaves, and then we're going to, we're going to steam this Dungeness crab and some shrimp, and then later we'll pick it. We're going to put that in with the other Thai ingredients, and um, hopefully it turns out good. If not, we go into McDonald's, so stay tuned. All right, now we're going to take this Dungeness crab, and we're going to put it on top of our steamer, and we're going to steam it for 15 minutes, and then we're going to add the shrimp, and we're going to steam those for five minutes, and, um, and then we're going to let the crab cool off and the shrimp cool off. We'll pick it, and we'll continue with the recipe. So this is a twist on the original recipe. The original recipe was made with freshwater fish from Thailand, and um, I'm always going to use Louisiana ingredients. So these are Louisiana shrimp, except for the crab. The crab came from uh, probably from California, but you can use blue crabs. You don't have to use a Dungeness. I just happen to use one because I really love Dungeness crabs, but blue crabs will work fine. The crab has been steaming for 15 minutes, so it's going to be done. And now we're going to put the shrimp in, and we're going to let that go for five minutes because we don't want to overcook the shrimp. We could actually use the shrimp raw, but I want to get some of the seasoning taste in it because I like a little kick. So the shrimp are in there now. We're going to put the lid back on. We'll steam that for five minutes, and then we'll um, take it out and let it cool off. It's all through steaming. So we're going to take the Dungeness crab out, put it on this tray, and uh, if you do that, try not to drop it like me. But anyway, he's tough, he can take it. And then we take the shrimp out, and then we're going to let it cool off, and we're going to peel the shrimp, and pick the crab. I can tell you right now, just this part right here, we can just eat this part, okay? This is Louisiana. This, we got ball crabs and ball shrimp. How can we go wrong? It's got to be great. The original recipe came from importfood.com. Okay, we've made a lot of changes here. First of all, they use some type of a freshwater fish from Thailand, and we're using uh, Dungeness crab and a little bit of shrimp cut up in here. And I'm going to improvise on some other things because I couldn't get the lime leaves that they that they stated to use. So what we do is we use lemon um, zest and we slice up some lemon rind that we had cut off with a lime. So we're going to put some of that in here. And all this is to taste, so uh, however you want to do it, whatever turns you on. Okay, now um, this is coconut cream, not coconut milk. This is one tablespoon of red curry. To make it easy on myself, I'm going to mix it all up in here before I put it in. And this is one egg beaten. I'm going to pour that in. We'll stir it all up. Get that curry dissolved in here. Then we're going to start adding it to the mixture. And then we're going to pour some in here, part of it. And we'll mix it with the crab meat and shrimp. And we'll see what type of consistency we get. Now I think this egg, when it cooks up, is going to create type of, or like a custard, okay? So we're going to have a, a Thai custard, if you will, seafood. And I know it's going to be great. All right, we'll pour a little bit more of this in. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice in it, not a whole lot. Just a half of a lime, and I only put about half of a half, so that, I think, if I go back to math, I think that's about a quarter of a lime squeeze. All right, so we're gonna mix it real good. Now this is not gonna be real hot with spices. Uh, I think it'll have good flavor. And uh, I'm supposed to put a tablespoon and a half of sugar, but I hate to tell you, my wife took off with all the sugar, so we're gonna try triple sec. So if it works for me, good for you. Okay, you guys can use sugar at home. Gino and I tasted it and we agreed we're going to put the rest of the lime zest and the lime peel that's been shut up, chopped up 
and we're going to add some more curry because it doesn't have enough kick. Okay, so that's what I mean by to taste. You taste it, if you don't care for it, do something to make it better. Okay, now we'll incorporate the, uh, the additional curry. So that now that's two tablespoons of curry and uh, the, le the zest of three limes and the chopped up peel from one lime. Now we're supposed to use kefir lime leaves, but we didn't have any and couldn't find any. If you go to their website uh, that I gave you, Import Food, I think it's importfoods.com, um, you can order all this in advance and get everything you need. They have fresh lime leaves available all the time. All the stuff they have on their site, you can order in advance and get everything you need instead of running around trying to find them. But some of the stuff's a little exotic, depending on where you live. And it makes it a lot easier than having to run around all these different grocery stores. So we're gonna, let me taste it. That's good flavor. I think it needs a little pepper. So this is uh, good old Louisiana cayenne pepper. We're gonna put just a dab of it. For some people, that might be a big dab. We'll mix that, and then we're gonna stop there because we don't wanna get too carried away. Otherwise, we won't have anybody able to eat it except me and Gino. We can eat things with fire coming off of it, but most people don't care for food like that. All right, now, we're not very skilled at making these cups, but um, the, the uh, website shows these cups made nice and neat. We struggled and made one, so we're gonna do one of them in this, and the rest of them we're gonna just do in these little glass dishes. So. We're gonna spoon it in. And then we're gonna put it in a steamer and steam it. I think it's gonna, the egg will cause it all to firm up, but we'll see. Okay, so there we go, there's one of them. And um, it's actually leaking through. <laughs> okay, so we're wild and crazy guys, we'll just leave it like that. So now we'll spoon some into the other ones. And, um, I'll tell you uh, uh, the truth, when we, uh, when we steamed those shrimp, we couldn't even peel them. So uh, we could have put them in raw, you might want to do that, or you may want to boil them traditionally so that uh, you'll be able to peel them. It was very difficult to peel them. All right, now we'll, um, we'll clean up a little bit and we'll garnish them and we'll put them in the steamer. We'll be right back. Okay, the first thing we do is put two basil leaves in here and then we put our mixture right on top and then we're gonna put a little garnish on the top of it before we put it in the steamer. So um, let me get that part ready and we'll finish it up. Don't forget your basil leaves. We added some basil leaves to the top as a garnishment and some additional flavor. And we're putting some um, orange bell peppers. put in the steamer now and I hope you can see how much we improvise and when you cook you could do the same thing if you're at the camp and you don't have sugar I doubt if you'll have triple sec but that you know use something an alternative to what the recipe calls for if you don't have exactly everything you want I mean I haven't been to a, a, a duck camp yet that has a duck press and a quasar and all that other stuff so just make do now we're gonna go over and put it in the steamer So, put the lid on, and we're gonna let it steam for 20 minutes, and we're gonna come back and we'll tell you how it is. Here we go. Who's in the pudding, as they say? And in a way, it's sort of pudding, so I guess that fits. So here we go, we're gonna take it off the steamer. It's been in there for 20 minutes. Set it down on the tray there, so if it drips, it won't hurt anything. cool off just a little bit here and then we're going to try it out and let you see firsthand if we like what we created or whether it's thumbs down. All right folks, here it is. It's ready to taste. I've got a spoon, Gino's got a spoon. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Mm. Mm. Well, my opinion is we put it Wow, <laughs> oh my God, 
Well, we put too much red pepper in it. We'll start with, whoa, baby, if you like it hot, this is it. It tastes great. Uh, I think we can improve on it a little bit. And um, I would put less of the lime and uh, probably wouldn't put the cayenne because maybe when it cooked, that curry went to town, buddy, because this is warm. Okay, we'll see you next show. Thank you. Thank you.